Okay, so one of the things that DRS has done uh, for international battle management is take the uh, mounted family of computer systems, or MFOX for short, MFOX2, and taking that same technology and, and rolled it into an international and commercial flavor uh, as needed by our different customers. So one of, the, one of the things that we've done is you can get MFOX just like the U.S. Army or U.S. Marine Corps gets it um, and use that same exact kit with your battle management uh, software or your sensors and your components. But we can also take that same capability and build it into gener with generic vehicle architecture for our displays that uses the same MFOX technology. And so we'll show you some of that. But let me explain the uh, hardware for the MFOX system uh, and start with the hardware and then we'll talk about some of the capabilities and new capabilities. So it, th the first thing we have is a data distribution unit, expandable or the DDUX, uh, and that's part of the MFOX uh, family and also part of the international uh, family for battle management. Uh, right below that we have a vehicle intercom system that's all digital. Uh, it can be tied into the DDUX or it can be done, used separately. Uh, it's voice activated, it's all digital, it's a, a very good system, very good uh, sound clarity and, and quality. Uh, now I'm going to move over a little bit here to the right and describe some uh, of our new international offerings in addition to the, the basic uh, MFOX uh, kit. Um, but we have a, uh, a potential driver's display or commander's display here, it's in a 12.1 inch. Um, up at the top computer here is a GVA smart display. So the bezel is laid out in a GVA. It's a multi-touch display. It's a night vision goggle readable. Uh, it's a daylight um, readable, uh, very rugged display. And what's different about this, of course, is uh, it can or it does or does not have to tie to the DDUX and the computer's in the display on the back plane of the display. The next display below that is the MRT-104, uh, a generic vehicle architecture, or GVA MRT-1042. Uh, it has a GVA bezel around it. Um, has two removable hard drives with a gigabyte source of storage. Has a quad core i7 computer in it. Um, same uh, family as the MFOX family, uh, but international version with it, in this case a GVA bezel. And then the last display we have down here is a 12.1 inch or the GVA MRD 121 2. Um, so it's got GVA capability. Again, uh, sunlight readable, night vision goggle readable, multi-touch, we can pinch like you do with your iPhone, uh, and that uh, ties to the DDUX. All these displays uh, can tie uh, in different combinations to the DDUX depending on what the user or commander needs for uh, his mission, his particular platform that he's commanding and leading. Before, in the old MFOX system, the warfighter basically looked at uh, a battle management screen, and we'll get to that in a second. But now you have the capability to do voice, data, and video, and integrate multiple sensors on the platform, and control them through all one piece of glass, or more if you choose to, but one piece of glass on the platform, uh, which makes it easier for the vehicle commander. Uh, so let's talk about what some of those capabilities are. Let's start with video. Here on our screen, we've got four videos up, and you have the option of having one or up to four at any one time. Uh, we're showing a, a day, up in the upper uh, left-hand corner, a day IR uh, color camera, uh, which is a new capability, and this can be 360 around the vehicle or just frontal arc, uh, or frontal arc in the rear of the vehicle. Obviously, we have a UAV feed here. We have a thermal sight feed coming from a scout who's looking on an objective and actually sees a friendly M1 tank there. And then over on the right, we have a uh, IR feed from our Bradley IBAS system uh, that's being fed, fed here. Um, and from one piece of glass, I'm controlling this video, and I can also control my data and my radio. So I'm going to go to my radio as an example and show that we have three radio configurations here. I can turn the radios on and off from here, change the channel, change the volume. Um, I can do my cross-banding management for here, which is a really exciting capability because I have the ability to have disparate radios talk to each other. Uh, like I could have a NATO radio talking to a U.S. radio, a coalition radio talking to a U.S. radio, and them all talking to each other. And I can manage it from this, this screen as an example. Uh, another thing we can do is I can manage power. Um, so now I can manage power and see that power on my vehicle if I choose to do so, which is a great capability. So I can put all these different sensor capabilities up here on the top, and it's all programmable um, by the operator. Um, and so we're going to go back to the video piece right now. And uh, it's kind of a little vignette. We've, uh, we've got an objective, and the commander's getting ready to look at his objective. And you can see we have a UAV feed, and he's calling artillery on his particular objective. And now he wants to see where his forces are. So now we're going to go to the battle management screen or the mission command screen uh, for your MFOX system. And this shows the, uh, the blue picture, 
uh, but we could also put red on here, put the enemy on here, put unknown uh, uh, vehicle locations so we determine who they are, and put neutral locations on here also for vehicles and, and positions. You can draw your graphics here and do all those battle management mission command things you've been used to in the past, but now I can tie this to my video capability from uh, sensors, whether it's a UAV picture or a scout sending something back from uh, a uh, OP position over, over what, looking at an objective. So a lot more capability here. Uh, the last thing that, that's pretty neat that we can talk about uh, when we come back here and we look at, look at this capability um, is we have a, um, a, what's called AP&T, or Assured Position, Navigation, and Timing. And that's a new capability we're putting into MFOX and into our international uh, products for uh, the MFOX family that allow you to operate in a GPS-denied environment. So that's a really exciting, exciting capability in addition to our cyber and other capabilities that we're bringing to the warfighter.